if you go to my office, the superintendent's office in San Francisco, uh, California, you will see proudly hanging on my wall a big, a big Aztec calendar that says Mariachi Aslan. I am just so proud of the program and the kids and everyone that's been through that program because it's always stood for a respect for the tradition. It was my experience with the development of Mariachi Aslan as a program that led me to become an administrator. And it was because um, enlightened administrators like Dickie Gastelum and Mary Jane Cook aside, Ed Nunez, Tommy Harper, those people aside, there was a, a palpable racist antithesis to the establishing of mariachi curriculum within the public school system. And as a teacher, you confronted it head on. It was the, the comments that I got from the orchestra teacher when I invited that orchestra teacher to be part of this. Well, I can't do it because I can't teach kids to play out of tune. It was the comments that were made that, well, this isn't a legitimate art form because there's no written curriculum. So we wrote a curriculum. Uh, this isn't a legitimate art form. There's no written musical arrangements. So we wrote musical arrangements. It, it was all of those comments um, that, for me as a teacher, were fundamentally transformational, where I realized that how can you be against this? How can you be against connecting kids with who they are? And when we started aligning our messages, when I would say to the erstwhile new Pepe Martinez on violin that really wants to only play mariachi, and I'd say, that's beautiful, but, but play orchestra as well. Why? Because it's more time that you get to practice your violin. And before you know it, after the first semester, they're hooked. They love orchestra, they love the classical art form, or they love playing country western. It's an expert, it's an on-ramp to other musical experiences, but never sacrificing the fact that mariachi is just as valid a musical experience as anything else. They had to audition for the performing group, and part of that audition process was they had to have good grades. Athletics required at the time a 2.5 GPA. I required a 3.0 GPA to be part of the mariachi aslan. You couldn't have any disciplinary referrals. You had to be all caught up on your schoolwork. And we also started a scholarship fund that when we went out and performed and gig, of course, it was self-supporting because we were buying our own uniforms and our own sombreros and our own instruments. But we were also setting aside money because I would tell kids, every year you're earning, you're banking so much money. When you graduate from high school, you will have earned a scholarship to go to college because mariachi is just a vehicle to get you to college. Mariachi music has helped me a lot in a way of the person who I am now. I used to kind of slack on my classes, but mariachi kind of like helped me to improve on myself and to try to do better things. And it helped me a lot because now I'm going to the university. When we went and performed, we had the entire package. Kids understood that the minute they put that traje on, they represented, they transcended just themselves and just their neighborhood and just their school. They were representing a tradition. I'm really shy, like outside of probably mariachi. So mariachi has really taught me to break out of my shell and express myself and be able to talk to people. and being able to communicate with others. As a superintendent of schools now, one of the, the biggest uh, revolutions that we're, we're preparing for right now is the introduction of the Common Core State Standards. And what is so interesting for me is that as we talk about the assessment and evaluation of student learning uh, around the Common Core State Standards, we're talking about demonstration. We're talking about being able to present. We're talking about being able to speak. We call them the 21st century skills. So how do you present? How do you speak? How are you able to demonstrate proficiency? Heck, we were doing that back in the 90s with Mariachi Aslan, where kids were going on stage in front of tens of thousands of people and presenting and speaking and singing and performing. On Monday, guess what they were doing? They were self-evaluating the group's performances. We'd pick two or three performances. They developed a rubric. They would grade themselves on their personal performance, and they would grade the group on their performance. So my kids were writing. My kids were using higher order thinking skills. My kids were expressing themselves within their art form, and they were critiquing their own performances. That's when I knew <clears throat> that this is much more than just a music program. Thank you.